Let's go to live to uh, Vegas, where the game was. The United Stand presenter, Adam Matic, is with us. Adam, how are you doing? Good morning, Adam. Uh, good, boys. Good afternoon. Morning. How are you doing, Gabba? How are you doing, Aid? You okay? Uh, real good. Good to have you on. What did you make of that incident and on a racing out to have a go at Maguire? I'm kind of with you both, to be honest, on that one. I think Manchester United need characters. We've not had one in goal, especially with David De Gea. He sort of wouldn't say boo to a goose, to be honest. He was very quiet. He wasn't very vocal at all from games that I've been at. But, yeah, I think Anana, like you both said there, I think if he continues that, and he continues that with every single player, then that's fair enough. Uh, targeting Maguire, uh, I, I personally don't think there's an issue. We've seen... Both players come uh, out uh, shortly after each other in the mix zone after the game as well. Uh, Maguire seems very, very calm and uh, and chilled out this tour. Uh, I don't know if losing that captaincy has taken a burden off his shoulders, but he seemed a lot more relaxed and actually uh, in terms of like letting on to people and just, he just seems like a, a more chilled out character. Anana seems to have taken to the yeah. club well. Uh, on the pitch, like I said, we need characters. We need to start being a bit more solid. We need to be back to the United way. And yes. uh, I think Den Hag has brought him in for that. I think he's brought him I, in as a character. Adam, I, I don't mind it if he does it continuing going forward. Yeah. For instance, you know when Manchester United lost, was it seventh Liverpool? I can imagine if yeah. he's playing in that game, he's chasing him around the pitch so he catches him. You know, every, every single player that, that didn't track back or made a mistake, that carry that is needed by Manchester United. But I just looked at the incident and I didn't see Maguire do anything wrong. He passed it to the midfielder. He gave it away. So I just want to see how going forward with all players, you know? Yeah, I mean, the only way you can look at it is if there was like a a system of play that they'd all worked on, which Maguire didn't didn't complete. He made the wrong pass. Uh, but like you said, it wasn't it wasn't Maguire's fault. The goal. Uh, in terms of Inanna himself, obviously Heaton was in goal for the first half, which Maguire played the majority of the game of uh, from the first half and. Uh, nothing else really happened in the game much in the second half apart from that goal that went in for Anana to deal with. So I think he was just, he's, he's one of them characters, isn't he? he was, he's looking, uh, he's automatically looking for someone to blame and thinking that situation. He wants to impress in his early days at the club. And I think, like you said, I hope it wasn't like that Maguire was the easy target. But uh, like I said, if he continues like that and he is trying to stamp his authority on his defence, then I'm all for that. I think we need that in yep. our team. We need that solid, we need that steelness. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, pre-season hasn't been particularly good at, and Hoyland is coming in, which will make a difference. Uh, but are you bothered about pre-season at all? That's the, that's, you know, that's the question I've been asking myself. Uh, I just I did a roundup of the whole tour not so long ago and I come out of it really disappointed. Uh, going to America and only winning one game out of the four that we've got there. Yes, the Wrexham one was an under-21s team. So we can't really look at that, but uh, I was I was sort of half expecting a strong team tonight, and he went with the second string from the start, Ten Hag, and I'm thinking the Premier League's two weeks away, and there's players in that first team that need games. Rashford has played barely 50 minutes all pre-season. Bruno Fernandes has played about a game and a half. Casemiro looked off it. There's a lot of players that look nowhere near ready yet in that starting lineup for Manchester United. So I come away with it. I'm not bothered about results as much. I look at players' touch. I look at fitness and we're a bit off it yet. I think we've got a big week coming up. I think Ten Hag wanted the Manchester United show over and done with. You can tell what yes. he's like. He, he doesn't like it. He wants to get back to Carrington and get on the training ground. He hates the media and the, the whole circus, which is Manchester United, especially on tour. Uh, I think he just wants to get back and get working on the training ground personally. But I think we've got a big week coming up because we're, we're not ready yet, in my opinion. Who is your last game before the season starts? And also, you need that Hoyland deal done now, you know, so that you can have yeah. 10 days with him and the players can get used to how he plays. You don't want him coming in and he's not ready to start until, you know, September. So Manchester United really need to get that over the line if it's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're being told that it's it's done done and dusted. We know that he's coming in, uh, but it does need to be in time for the start of the season because... We can't rely on Anthony Martial. Uh, Eric Ten Hag's already called him out. He's been playing Sancho as a number nine all pre-season. And it worked in one game when Gabriel made a mistake in the Arsenal game. And it looked great, but it's not really worked since no. then. Quite clear we need a number nine in the club because we scored, I think, seven goals in five games on pre-season. You, you usually fill in your boots in pre-season. <laughs> yeah. You're usually getting a few goals, but... It was gone. It's carried on from last season when we couldn't put the ball on the back of the net. We really struggled last season with that. And I think Highland needs to happen quick. But let's not forget, I mean, the guy's 20. 
He hasn't got a great goal scoring record as it is. It's a lot of pressure on a kid coming in with a big price tag again. And I, th- I, th- I think he will be a good player. Ten Hag sees the potential in him. But again, you just have that little fear, like what Aid said a minute ago. The scrutiny at United is 20 times higher than any yes. other club in Italy, in my opinion. And then as soon as he has a bad game, can he handle that pressure when the press come down and then when questions start getting asked and he goes three or four games without a goal, he's 20. It's a lot to ask, uh, but he looks good. He looks like a Ten Hag sort of player and what we need, someone to link up play with. Well, uh, Ten, Ten Hag definitely down, wanted him. I think he was the number one yeah. target, so uh, he's got his man, it seems. Adam, great to talk to you. Thanks Thank you, Adam. Enjoy Top Vegas cheers, like guys. you could do cheers, anything guys. else. Cheers, uh, the United Stand presenter, Adam Matic, with us live from uh, Vegas on TalkSport. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.